We are, are in um, the Meatpacking District, and I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about Decide to Be Beautiful. Decide to Be Beautiful is, has nothing to do with just um, your outer appearance. However, it has a lot to do with, you know, how you feel on the inside, your, how, you, how you know you're beautiful from the inside out. And I, my, my, my theory, my, my rule of thumb is it's nothing wrong of looking amazing and looking beautiful and having great hair and having great makeup and having the fashion. Everything corresponds really well with one another. But we have to make sure that the inside is on point. We, it, I can't stress that enough because the more beautiful you are and, 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 and the more ugly you are on the inside, it, it just creates a platform for yourself for people to talk about you. And, and, and the reason why they're talking about you is because they're hurt. You ever heard that saying, hurt people hurt people? Well, there you go. You know, you have a bunch of beautiful people walking around um, being hurt by other beautiful people. But if you're a beautiful person and you're walking around and you're just pleasant, you smile, you, you people speak to you, you say hello back, and just the, 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 the little things. It's all about the little things that make the difference. And you wanna make the difference by just doing the little things. I'm not asking you to go out and change the world by um, adopting peop, little kids from Ethiopia, nothing random like that, but just being nice, just genuinely being nice, being genuine. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't care about how many millions of dollars are you making. I don't care about how many jobs you're booked on. I don't care about how many books you've written, but it's all about loving yourself enough to, to love and appreciate the difference in others. Get that? Loving yourself more and uh, to the point where you can just look at yourself and say, you know what? Hmm. If there's one me, I don't need anybody to be me. I, I want to I wanna appreciate the difference in someone else. That being said, deciding to be, and I, and I took the time and liberty to, I, I mean, I'm busy. I have to go and work with Carrie Hilson for the next four days. She's about to do her album. And, and I, immediately when I leave here, I have to go and work with her. And I took this time. It's like it's not like, okay, well, Keith has nothing else to do, but it, I'm, I'm taking this time because I genuinely care about people. I love people. I, I'll say it again. I love people enough to show people how to decide to be beautiful. I wrote a book, um, Cuts for Infirmities, and Cuts for Infirmities has a lot to do with getting people to understand their uniqueness and, and, and loving their difference. Um, well, I want to look like Beyonce. No, there's only one Beyonce. Let Beyonce look like Beyonce. You look like Kim or you look like Stephanie or whatever your name is. You love you in spite of what the word have said about you and how you look and aesthetics, da 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 you forgive yourself for who of what you've done in the past and move on move on and before you move on you have to move on to you have to and before you move on to something greater you have to you have to say this is the moment that i decide to be beautiful inside of deciding to be beautiful there's a multitude of decisions but the, all of those decisions have to correspond really well with the first initial decision and that decision is to decide to be beautiful. Now, that being said, how how much do I care about you? I came to the street. I brought my my all of the decide to be beautiful isms and the Keith Campbell isms to the street. Well, people say, well, you don't have anything better to do. Absolutely, is to love on you. That's the better thing. The love, love is the perfect. There's the most perfect way. So that you know, if you want to know why I'm outside cutting hair, is because I want people to understand that you are beautiful in your uniqueness. You're beautiful in your difference, and love you. If you got three strands on your head, we're gonna to have to figure out how to make those three strands the most beautiful three three strands that's on your head. But you get what I'm trying to say. Nevertheless, we're here on the street. I'm excited. Um, my first client is about to get here, and I want you to come with me on this journey to get her to decide to be beautiful. So, God bless you. Thank you, and I thank you for the support. I, the support means a lot. The support means a lot. Even by watching these videos, um, it, it means a lot because it does, it, you know how things happen. In number, there's power. So, you know, we want to get this thing bigger than it can ever be. You know, I, I want you, you know, if you're a hairstylist, if you're a makeup artist, if you're a wardrobe stylist, if you're a life coach, if you're a wellness um, coach, I want you to be able to get on your corner and, and, and get people to decide to be beautiful. So reach out to me, Keith Campbell um, at decidetobebeautiful.com or Keith Cam uh, info at keithcampbell.com. Info at keithcampbell.com. Peace.